but this whiskey is really, really good. We really, really like this whiskey. Hey, it's Rich. And Taylor. With Town Wine Spirits. So, as most of you know, the Roddy Barrel Brotherhood had done a pick of Rare Character several months back, uh, the Amberana cast. Absolutely. It was our Rody aficionado, and people loved it. Flew out of it. Absolutely. We were lucky enough when Pablo, who is one of the co-founders of Rare Character, was here in September, that we got a pick of one of his whiskeys. Absolutely. So Pablo came into the store, um, showcased a bunch of different things, kind of give us an idea of sort of the philosophy, uh, their style, what they're all about. And during that uh, tasting session, um, we kept coming back to this whiskey and we're like, this whiskey is really, really good. We really, really like this whiskey. And uh, so Pablo's like, well, it's, it's intended for another market. And we did a little bit of arm twisting and we sort of said, hey, come on, we want this barrel. And so he agreed and we finally got the barrel. Yeah. It took a long time to get here, but it is finally here. It did. A little too long. Yeah, a little too long. Or it got lost or who knows. Anyway, what whatever. Who cares? It doesn't make a difference. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. But one thing though. Yeah. I'm curious. You keep saying whiskey. I do. The Rody Barrel Brotherhood as a brand focuses on bourbon, a little bit of rye, and a little bit of tequila. We love tequila. We love tequila. Uh, but this is gonna be a first for us. So this is actually a Kentucky straight malt whiskey, which means it's 65% malted barley uh, and 35% corn. And it was aged for nine years and eight months in a brand new barrel, which is pretty cool. That is very cool. I can't believe this, you know, think about it, almost 10 years. I know. Uh, that it's been aged. Also, it's, so it's going into the barrel at 125 proof. And it, but, com it comes out at a whopping 67.04, not proof. Not proof. Percent. Percent. It is, <laughs> so this is a certainly a high proof. Yeah. It is a monster. It is a big boy. Uh, but it is fascinating. It is fascinating. Also, one other like little tidbit of note here. Uh, we did open this bottle up a few hours ago. Uh, we first tasted it. It was really tight. It needs a little time to open up um, yes. to get there and really, I think, it started to express itself. Yep. Uh, also, as I think most of you know, Taylor and I are not really ones to typically add. Water. Yeah, I'm usually I'm usually like, okay, um, I don't want to add water. Yeah. I want the purity of the spirit. I want to taste it. And uh, this may be a case, or rather, it is a case yeah. where uh, you need to add water. So we did a, of course, a little taste comparison without water. Yeah. Then we put a little water in, and it's amazing what the water actually did. To, I think to the whiskey, it really it opened it up and expanded just the nose as well as the palate. Oh, so absolutely. we've already done that and we're... Yeah, I think that the, the addition of water profoundly yeah. changes uh, sort of everything about this whiskey. Um, and, and this whiskey sits in a lot of different places. It, it, it hits a lot of different categories. It certainly has all that new wood influence oh, uh, that you look for in bourbon. Uh, it's got a little background notes uh, of single malt. Uh, so, you, so you're not missing out on the fact that it is malted barley. Um, and then, but you had referenced something else that I really, really like, and I think it's very, very important. It, I did. So I almost was referring this to as a aged uh, rum. Yeah. Uh, uh, something like a four square. Mm. Um, again, they're kind of kind of the upper echelon of aged rums oh, at this point. Oh, uh, four square is like like the Pappy Van Winkle <laughs> of the rum world. It's really hard to get. The quality is exceptional. But. The nose goes from that beautiful wood. I love. There's a soft cinnamon, uh, not spicy, but you had mentioned. Yeah. That. So, so to me, to, to me, the the, the 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 cinnamon comes across as that Vietnamese cinnamon, like a Vietnamese cold brew. Um, it's really sort of like it, it's really friendly. Um, it's really cool. And then there's this deep, like dark molasses flavors, and that's where I'm getting yes. the rum from. And that's why I mentioned yeah. it. And then there's that little bit of this. Uh, I don't want to call it backbone, but a little bit of the back palate. You get a little bit of that kind of um, meadow hay kind yeah, of, yeah. Uh, of the malt. So aromatically, it's fascinating. Mm. There's a lot there. Um, and uh, I, I, I almost don't want to drink it. It's it's sort of the whiskey now. The more I spend time with it, the more I'm just like, I just want to like really get in my nose into it and really, really keep getting into the aromatics. It keeps opening up uh, definitely over time and yeah. the water. Um, and the palate's just, it's amazing how it just continues to linger. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, it's long. It sits wow. on the palate for a long time. Mm. Um, so this is a deep, dark, concentrated, full-bodied whiskey um, that's got a lot of intensity and flavor, uh, but also has a lot of complexity. There's a lot going on. It's really, really cool. I think it's also really, you mentioned that this would 
a big bridge between multiple gaps or multiple taste profiles. Yeah. And it truly does. I think it, it hits that bourbon drinker with the wood. It kind of gets the, that, that whiskey malt uh, scotch drinker. Mm. Um, and then really anything in between. It's, yeah. It's unbelievable. It's really unique. It's really unique. So that's sort of the, the idea uh, behind the exceptional cask series uh, from Rare Character is to find things that are really, really unique, really interesting. Yeah. Um, that really hit on flavor profiles that are gonna be outside of that sort of normal bound, but are exceptionally made. Um, this absolutely nails it. it. They hit it out of the park. Absolutely. It's really just dynamite. I mean, yeah, Pablo and team, uh, the whole Rare Character crew, you guys did a fantastic mm. job with this, so. Yeah, so this is gonna be dropping on uh, Friday, June 9th. Yep. Um, it's gonna be pretty limited. There's not a lot uh, There's not a lot of yield to it, which is not surprising because it's almost 10 years old. Um, it's gonna be 115 bucks, uh, so don't hesitate, grab it, because it's gonna be gone. That's right, hop online quick, get in store, and get it before it's gone. All right. Hey, thanks again. Cheers.